everybody, welcome back to the episode last day on a survival today. We return to boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, guys. I'm so happy, fantastic day of the most amazing variety. Today's book of code is gonna be 80240. At the time, we'll be putting this up. If that's out of date, by the time you guys are trying to put it in, make sure to check the comment section down below. Forward up to date version brought to you by the favorite fantastic computer here at the Snipe Gang. Then we got the raid trade that we had to do with these dudes from the raid that we just got done doing just the other episode. Spoiler alert, it was dope. Check it out if you haven't yet. But I want to make sure that we can do that so we can call back the raiders and hopefully start getting another one set up but at the same time take a peek around the map and what do you see the fact that we've had some walls broken into so that's a very good sign because uh, that also means we got a revenge raid lined up for today and revenge raids have been awfully juicy we are also gonna be going and trying to get ourselves some openings going as well all in all a whole ton of epicness going on let's just see what these raiders got to say very quickly and they want the blind one dead I might be able to arrange that, but something else that I might be able to arrange is BOOM! What we are seeing here is actually going to be the first of two potential new locations coming to the last day on Earth game. These were actually the winners of the contest that Kafir was having where they wanted uh, people to come up with new location ideas, but they wanted them to be realistic, they wanted them to be detailed, and they wanted them to match the last day on Earth context, and here's the general way that it's going. And here's the thing, with the general theme that Kafir's been having, it seems that they really have been expanding more and more to unique locations like the farm, like the police station. I don't think they're just going to stop at the two. I think Last Down Earth is ultimately going to become this hybrid between the randomly generated locations and then the unique locations because there's just so many of them coming, right? But here's the crazy thing when you think about it, right? They've been juicing and adding in a ton of these. They're probably going to be continuing to add them. And with Kafir's honestly newfound focus, I would say, to listening to the community. Like, you guys got to admit, as of late, Kafir's been making a whole ton of change that the community has been wanting. They've been a lot more active in listening. I think this is actually going to be playing a huge huge part that I think a big reason that they were doing this contest is to get inspiration and see what the community would want because they ultimately had to pick some winners. These are some of the winners, but those winners were handpicked by Kafir which means that they like these ideas. And given the fact that, I mean, we've already have two such unique locations, probably more in the works. I think that we could be very well seeing these types of rough ideas, maybe with some modifications here, there. And especially if you think about the theme, like something like a police station, something like a farm, that's relatively universal, could be found anywhere. And these next two locations that we're gonna be going over do also match that type of threshold or uh, parameters or whatever it is. So the first one that we are seeing here is gonna be the Gothic Cathedral. You will have an hour to destroy the hood but it will sound an alarm to the horde of zombies that waits outside so let's get to diving into this puppy as you guys are seeing this is actually the roadmap for what appears to be a giant cathedral which is kind of like a big old church with a little bit i think cathedrals are kind of like more older style but still it is for the most part like a giant church and let's go ahead and just start going over some of the rooms as you guys can see all the way in the lower left we can see the mortuary that will actually have a chance of containing holy water or zombies depending on your luck then if you guys go ahead and take a look at opposite of the mortuary you guys can actually see the first of a key that you are going it's a need these will be appearing throughout the gothic cathedral if you go ahead and actually go to the confessionary we can see that is where we will be able to get the blessed water which we'll be able to get as we can see for sure from the mortuary depending on our luck and maybe the zombies will be dropping it because if you guys look at the top there would be a new priest zombie in this type of location and i don't even know what type of skills and whatnot he would have if you guys have any ideas what a Prius zombie would even be doing to be unique, right? I'd love to hear that down below. But I imagine some of the special loot he might be dropping would be something like holy water that would match up. And then that confessionary over on the left side of the image, you guys can see that that is actually where an exchange similar to what we've seen at the police station with cards for crates would be happening. We'd be able to trade in these blessed waters in exchange for arms. Now, however, if you look right next to the confectionery, you can actually, or the confession you can actually see a very interesting little area the cemetery where you must destroy the graves so that no more zombies appear that is where zombies will be appearing from kind of similar to the way that we saw in the halloween event actually that like where graves and stuff scattered throughout so they do have the assets for graves like somewhere in the game files and whatnot but once you get past that there would be access to key numero two and then if you go go ahead and look at the back of the total overall church you guys can see that is where key number three would be found I'm guessing maybe there'd be some Prius zombies protecting it. And most likely the Prius zombies would be of the stronger variety and actually able to do a big number on you. Should they be able to connect?
back. Then those three keys could be used to get into that northern chamber that you guys are seeing that would actually be containing the blind one, making it the boss battle of this. However, I do think that I think one potential change would be to have a more unique boss, maybe something to do with the whole church slash cathedral theme, maybe like some kind of like mutated Prius that's like even more powerful or something. Like I definitely think there could be something more custom than just having the blind one appear again. Like the blind one's pretty unique to the second floor. But still, dude, even, even if the blind one was appearing there, that'd be a very nice source of some hard mode items and whatnot. Unless he would be dropping different loot, like maybe be dropping some of the holy water and whatnot instead. And then once the blind one is defeated, that is when you can actually wear the hood. I'm guessing the hood that they are talking about would be kind of like a one of those like religious hoods. You know what I mean? Where like sometimes like you'll see like some I, I'm just trying to think like in general in games where like you'll see some of those like hooded people in robes, right? Hoods up just being super mysterious. And I'm guessing there might be some type of wardrobe similar to that that you could then utilize because it appears that you would need that to see sneak out of the horde because it's saying you have an hour to destroy the hood but it will sound an alarm and alert the horde of zombies that awaits outside so i'm guessing you actually have to utilize that hood to maybe sneak out from the zombies and actually leave this area because it seems like it'd be an area where like you maybe get trapped in so, like once you enter you're kind of like stuck in here and you have to like do this certain stuff to get the hood and be able to escape because they are talking about that horde that does wait outside but nonetheless a very cool location that i would absolutely love to see i think it fits the theme in very well and i think it's gonna be very nice because I, I genuinely think that Kafir is going to be adding in more than just two such unique locations and on top of the bunkers too. But I do think that they're looking to really expand because that gives a nice variety between the randomly generated locations and the normal locations that would like be respawning on a timer or whatever. So that is the Cathedral, a very dope looking location that I cannot wait to hear from y'all about for the potential future thing. And then boom, what you guys have seen over here is actually the second such location that came along with a sketch. And this appears to be some sort of town slash trading type of thingy mabob so it's actually based around what appeared to be a little bit of a marketplace where you know like people would have their stands and it'd be kind of like all just kind of like small scale trading it's not like you're going to a walmart or something but it's all like local people you know trading some goods maybe like bringing some fruits and vegetables to trade that type of stuff like a flea market whatever you want to think of it just some sort of a market but if you go ahead and actually look at the sketch you guys can see that there appears to be a perimeter of relatively four fortified walls however over on the left side you can see that that wall does appear to have a little bit of a breach and then over here on the bottom right side you can actually see that there appears to be that should be where the real doorway is and you guys can see like a whole bunch of piled up cars and whatnot but then the marketplace area with it with a giant thing on top saying help in that kind of like central little building now i could definitely see this coming as well and so could the kafir devs since they chose this as a winner and again that is what i'm saying kafir devs chose this and one of the things one of the things of the contest was hey like this has to fit the last day on earth atmosphere like they're really trying i think they were really trying to push the community for ideas and this would also fit in perfectly with the vision of last day on earth this is the type of stuff that i think this could kind of be like the first little town that we see as we know westland survival is going to be testing the saloon city that's a huge thing coming to westland survival an actual city that's going to be able to give quests npcs the whole nine yards it is going to be absolutely nutty right but you know what else westland has been good at and i'll honestly just a lot of these other mobile survival games that are kind of working with the kafir to a degree because i think uh what should we call the people making westland survival they have actually they're using the last day on earth engine and it's like officially licensed and stuff with like kafir so they have like an agreement there so if anything it would appear that we've seen things like that before we've seen even like the horse initially tested in westland survival and then another kafir game grim soul survival we saw the horse come in much more fleshed out so i can see something similar happening with the saloon city and then with this little area here kind of being like kind of a town having some people being able to get give us quests and even potentially being able to do stuff like trade because just the way that it's shaping up dude it genuinely appears to be like a, a place that would be able to be taken over by a civilization and then have people inhabiting it trading it giving quests and whatnot it even reminds me a little bit of prey day and like the kind of central city adelaide they have over there and then of course they would have that building where maybe like the boss man right of the market or like the leaders of the market would be chilling and maybe they'd be able to give quests as well so very cool stuff we're seeing here nothing as 
specific as the first one they were talking about specific features and whatnot but nonetheless two very dope locations that i genuinely believe are going to be some stuff that are very realistically within the plans of a kafir for last down at moon four because they fit perfectly with what we've seen so far and just with the just the way that the contest was set up man i'm telling you they were doing it to look for inspiration they were doing it to see what the people wanted and if this is what the people want and if they agree with it because they chose these they literally said that hey we're cool with these we think these won and part of the contest was like hey make it so it fits the last down earth atmosphere dude all these things are just aligning i genuinely believe especially like especially if they already came with like sketches like this i genuinely believe something cool is gonna be happening with that but i can't wait to hear yo guys' thoughts on all this jazz in that comment section down below with that be you guys own original thoughts your guys' thoughts on my thoughts hey that's up jazz and remind the cops third the way until we get to our and to such place store gift card giveaway all you gotta do is always make sure to like but make sure to subscribe that sure you went on today's video y'all go to enter every single last video when said it was our big video for the past week pick a random comment from that random video and set we'll be the winner for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of last Earth information like we are sharing today not to mention update gameplay itself because we have a very cool update 1.9.7 lurking in the shadows from what we've been seeing that i'm very very excited for i talked about that a little bit more in the last video if you guys had a chance to see it 1.9.7 with this whole like carlos rudy character potentially it's shaping up to be something so you know we're gonna be swarming that update as soon as it comes showing off all the nuances all the dopeness that it has to offer not to mention that notification bell is a great way of staying up to date with every single video that y'all can go ahead and enter in on for the weekly giveaway and of course on top of all that jazz it's a great way of staying up to date with all the dope survival games that we are checking out here on the channel and just overall all the dope stuff we're doing because i don't don't want to spoil anything specific but i have some very cool stuff i'm working on behind the scenes that i think when you guys do finally see it you're gonna be like whoa so yeah you got to, i'm not i can't reveal too much it's a little bit mysterious but there's some very cool things going on behind the scenes i would highly recommend you all stick around there should be some dope stuff happening within pretty much the next month i'd say but yeah can't wait to what y'all gotta say about this and as you guys may or may not know uh today at least the video or the day that this video is going live is a saturday you know what that means that means today later today we're actually gonna to the winner of this past week's $25 itunes slash play store gift card giveaway and we are kicking off the new weekly giveaway today so today is the first video that y'all can go ahead and start entering in on you guys got the next six videos over the week up until next saturday when we will then rinse and repeat the cycle of generosity and making it rain is a marvelous gift card so i'm very much so looking forward to hopefully seeing all you guys and gals throughout the entirety of the week and hopefully you guys this week hopefully you guys this day hopefully you guys is everything is going fan freaking fantastic and going absolutely wonderful i know that i'm doing wonderful we are about to be cashing in on a whole a ton of dope stuff but dude those new locations like they they just the way that the sketches were performed and stuff man they just look so right they look so good and they genuinely look like they would match because I really think Kafir has gotten to that phase where maybe I think we will see a couple more random zones when the ATV slash swap update comes out most likely in the 1.10 update from what we have seen so far that is what the signs are pointing to but with that taken into account man it's just like that's gonna be the main map expansion when it comes to the single player stuff there will be obviously multiplayer stuff coming as well but that's the whole sector seven wall that's like its entire own section you know like that's got its entire own thing going on i will be opening you up soon red ticket crate don't you worry and we will be going out on the raid soon as well don't you guys worry but with all of that said i do think the next random locations we're gonna be getting are pretty much gonna be the final ones for at the very least a very long time because the last time we got a map expansion with new random zones was update 1.6 almost an entire year ago but that is what brought in the use of the chopper to unlock the north which brings in the oak biomes and the winter biomes which did bring in those next tier of resources so most likely we'll be seeing one more tier and maybe somewhere down the line another tier after that because the main tier that they have to add in is going to be the titanium bars and the ash planks which are pretty much confirmed to be the swamp biome and then a another zone that will be kind of like how the winter biome is to the uh whatchamacallit how the winter biome is to the oak biome you know and that's most likely how we're going to be getting titanium now there is still tungsten but there's no like next level of wood after that so it really does appear that this map expansion will most likely be the final one for random zones and the random zones are mainly based around the resources that they provide so honestly after that point 
it's genuinely looking, boys and girls, like uh, we're gonna have some big ticket items coming our way in the form of true locations, which I absolutely cannot wait for. And like I'm saying, it's gonna be some dopeness and they're gonna need a lot of ideas for that. And uh, again, I genuinely think that's the whole thing with this contest that was going on. And that cathedral location matches up perfectly with it. That market slash, slash like just kind of like open little enclosed wrecked area also matches perfectly with it. So I don't know, man. All that I know is that my excitement levels are going one direction and that direction is up. You know what else levels are going up? My hotness levels. Like not, not like attractiveness, but like my, my room is just getting very hot for some reason. I think it's because I started playing last day on earth or something. That's, that's gotta be it, man. But whoo. I am profusing from my pores. I don't even think that sense makes sense, but I think you guys know what I mean. And I think this toxic spinner knows that his time left on this earth is also limited. I'm also trying to go ahead and kite this exploder over here and bring him great death. Taking out this blind one is going to be amazing for us as well. Whoop, 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 whoop. Let's escape from that. But taking out this blind one as well is going to be amazing for us. Also, I fed my puppies, uh, what should I call it, like an entire stack of raw turkeys. Bruh, it has been amazing. Let me just say that. They're, good. They're pretty much fed for like the next six hours, which is good because that means our puppies are growing for the next six hours. And then, 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 on top of all of that, we got Lexi over here, our true friend pupper, ready to go ahead and help us out a little bit. And ooh, I would like to take this turret out. I don't have a rifle to do it with, but I guess I could just use this M16. We should be able to mow it down from afar. Mow it, not moo it. I'm not a cow, and even if I was, I'm not sure my moos would have that type of power. But this turret ain't standing a chance against us. Although, uh, you know what else isn't standing a chance against us? My hydration. Luckily, we got some bottled water awaiting that we could capitalize upon. And then I'm most likely going to ditch it because we ain't got the inventory room. I got to be picking up, like, other stuff, you know? And, uh, mm, we can definitely toss that over there. Okay, so beautiful. That'll free up a couple of slots. I know that I could have left this stuff upstairs, but I don't know, man. I could easily sketch that. I just like having an extra, you know? Uh, just like ready to roll with this. I don't want to like accidentally forget an engine part. I don't think I could... I don't think I could sleep with myself. Not sleep with myself. You, you, know, you know what I mean. There's not like no cloning involved with the sleeping, but just like I don't know if I could fall asleep at night knowing that I left behind something. Woo! I like what I'm seeing there, but knowing that I left behind something like a freaking uh, dingy mabob. Engine parts, just valuable things like that. And hello, Toxic Spinners, your deaths are very valuable to me. And look at this, even Lexi's coming along and trying. Let's go, dude. Another military notebook. Ooh la la. Today is going to be a very, very good day. We can continue using a little bit of our pistol drizzle on all trace of these Toxic Spinners. Let's make sure that we don't die from this. Our health is taking a toll. Our pistol has also gone down. And what do you know? Our inventory is filled to the brim with hard mode items and we're about to be getting more too as soon as we kill that blind one uh, you might be like oh star what you don't know that you're gonna kill him you should say if you kill him nah dudes come on i've said hello to the blind one i think so many days straight well so many two days straight because he only spawns once every two days but me and this guy we're like bffs you know and i i just know how that bff relationship is gonna end up it's gonna end up with him dead and his loot in my pocket so let's get to hacking into this computer and let's get to making that uh, hypothetical a reality hello mr blind oh i even got my papa to help out with today's shenanigans too even better my guy i hope that my armor doesn't break though that could be a little bit problematic not gonna lie let's back up from there let's wait for him to hit into the wall oh weapon has broken but our damage is being sunk into his veins oh we may have done ah we could have definitely done a little bit more damage here. that's the thing if you time your sh first shotgun shot and hold it but you gotta do it absolutely right so like right there yeah we're easily we timed it perfectly that time we're gonna be able to get six entire shots off at full damage to the blind one he's only healing 10 as well our pupper is starting to get tired from all the nipping at the blind one's heels but it doesn't matter to me well i, I do feel bad about my puppy but doesn't matter because the blind one will still be dying is what I meant to say. So let's wait for him to charge in and let's start dishing that out. That's three, four, five, and six. He's gonna wanna heal. I'm gonna be like, no, 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 no heals for you. And with one more well executed round of barrages of the marvelous shotgun rain, we will be looking Gucci, make a freaking swaggins. Although we do not have our pupper helping us out anymore, a little bit problematic. There we go, 55. Oh, yeah. If we could just get like a couple more criticals here, game, come on. Finished by the magic of shotgun rain and 
Ooh, so many marvelous things getting dropped. We even got some big bones. Let's get it, fam. We got some good stuff over here. Five of each and a big bone on top of it all. And I'm super slow, but I got the power of the sprints to make me walk slightly less slower. It's, be it's because of the way that that is. I know. I know my dog's over there. No worries. Pupper, he he will follow us. We'll be Gucci McSwagons. But yeah, that's the thing as well, man. With those new locations, I genuinely think that one will most likely be... Or what call the second one like the market i don't think that's going to be like an aggressive location i do think last on earth is working their way especially as they continue fleshing out the quest system because we've seen westland survival testing out their quest system and it's probably something that last day on earth has definitely been vying for as well and i don't know man once we see it maybe fleshed out in westland with that saloon city like i'm saying you know that testing ground that gets maybe like, expanded upon in last day on earth like we've seen with a lot of other features happening I'm, I'm just saying, man, the stars may very well align in a configuration that we would like. Let's get that thing opened up and let's go ahead and give our stuff to this guy over here. My dog needs a treat. I am well aware. Uh, what do we have over here? I got some stuff to give to you, big boy. Take them. Five of those notebooks. That is some great progress being made. And I'm probably, yeah, our SWAT armor for the most part is about to break. There's not really much of a point in us taking that back unless we're planning on maybe scrapping it or something. So for the time being, <gasps> let's freaking go. We're getting another C4 on top. I forgot to tell y'all, by the way, uh, we are up to two C4. I did manage to get una mas between last episode and when we started today. So this brings our total up to three, which means that today's raid is pretty guaranteed to be pretty good unless it somehow needs four to make our magic happen but i don't think that's gonna happen but we can go ahead toss those things into zah uh, i don't need to heal up or anything so that's good i'm gonna trade this blueprint in because we literally need to go like nowhere compared to here to trade it let's definitely grab the rest of the good guns that they got to offer I'll grab some of that jazz and mm, 15 ingots is pretty solid if you ask me so all in all, I'm happy with what we got rolling right now. Worst case, I can come back for that SWAT armor as well. But some full durability military armor will definitely go a little bit longer than what we were rocking before. Let's go ahead and pick up the rest of the damn goodies. Let's pick up everything that we can over here from area numero uno. Not area numero uno, but crate numero uno. Hold on, my computer is... Okay, there we go. My computer's better. I was about to say, my computer was struggling for a gif there. Uh, let's go ahead and chat down on some of that jerky. So I just want to finish that so we don't have as much, and then we can rely on this as being our rare... Not rare. I saw it. I was thinking rare because I saw the word medium rare in it uh, as our sole source of food, you know? Know? And also check this out. We toss this in there. What do you know? An extra slot has freed up for us to go ahead and acquire. God dang it, computer. I need you to calm down a little bit, big boy. Come on now. But yeah, when we're going about those like, dude, those new locations, I don't think the market would come with any new zombies, but that cathedral, dude, a Prius zombie and potentially a new boss zombie like that. And even just the mechanics they were describing. All of it seems super dope. I just, I, I love seeing stuff like that, man. And uh, dude, just Kafir's in new inclination to be a lot more listening to the community. I, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. That is the only way I could describe it. I am freaking excited. And we can go ahead and put that stuff over there. And I might... Mm, I guess I could take the one med kit with us. We just go ahead and drop it off somewhere. I know that there might be better things, but listen, at this point, we can come back. We still got some time to grab the stuff from the bunker. It's going to be around for a whole nother day, and I'm not trying to take a day to make this video. I'm trying to bless your eyes and faces with it on the ASAP and bless your eyes and faces with the wind. I think, oh, I thought my dog, I didn't see my dog right there. I'm like, is my dog underground? Oh no, he thinks he's a mole rat. What's going on? But no, like I was saying, let's definitely put that C4 over there. And a little bit of gas there. Like I was saying, another thing that I don't want to keep y'all waiting on is the winner of this past week's $25 iTunes slash Play Store gift card giveaway. So without further ado, let's get to diving into that. The randomly chosen video from the past week of videos was actually rebut on that huge, 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 huge raid where we got some really dope rare loot and tons of guns. Like I've been saying, guys, this past week has been raiding heaven. Non-stop goodness. It's been crazy. I don't know what's going on because like the last three weeks before that was pretty much mostly a dry spell. But this has been just consistent consistent good raids i love it but okay that's just a sidetrack about the video story i guess so that was a randomly chosen video and a huge congrats to the randomly chosen comment diego lewis is saying my raids have been terrible hope you're having a wonderful day bro well diego thank you i'm having a pretty good day but i'm hopefully you're i'm hoping that you're having an even more wonderful one and i'm crossing my fingers extra hard that hopefully your raid luck does turn around and anyone who is listening right now just at any 
anyone in general, even if you're not listening to this video, even if you're not watching this segment of the video, I still want your guys' raid luck to be turned around as well. So best of luck to you guys with that. The blind one has fallen, so we can work our way towards that. But I got to work my way towards organizing my inventory and stuff. But huge congrats to you, Diego. Just go ahead and reply to my pinned comment over in the comment section down below with the best way for me to privately contact you. So I can go ahead and get you that code on the lickety splits. And everyone else, best of luck at the brand new weekly $20 at 2 slash play store gift card giveaway and kick it off today but without further ado let's go ahead and prepare for today's raid and without further ado boys take a peek over here at that marvelous thing known as our inventory we got the hatches that we need actually left over from the last time we got ooh, we want to modify the shotgun and make it in its best raiding configuration which is to go ahead and swap out this site for this one so it does a guaranteed 80 damage which is going to be killer for some of the enemies that we got to go up against not to mention that we got the usual glock 17 that we are going to be rocking and let's go ahead and actually get those level one hatchets crafted up so we have uh, the rest of our raiding arsenal for whatever this revenge raid may contain we got to get our m16 modded m16 and like half a stack of aluminum back so that's definitely some valuable stuff right away and that's the thing too if this raid ends up being really good which i'm crossing my fingers it is I'm just saying that is a great situation because we don't have to give any of our stuff back. None of it to the Raiders, all right? Because it's our stuff. We're getting revenge. We're not working for anyone else to make this happen. We're working for ourselves. We're working for our sense of justice and all that like cheesy, like heroic stuff. So JD, JD, JI, do you dare stand in the way of justice? Well, you do because you're the one who freaking stole it. So my buddy, my pal, you're not my buddy or my pal anymore, given the whole, like, kit, like, stealing my stuff thing. But your time has come, my friend. And hello, apparently my friend happens to be a hacker because you can't do that. You can't do that. Oh, you definitely can't do that. Uh, yeah, okay. So he's definitely got some sort of, well, it appears like it's a small base. So, and we got a chest. All right, I'll grab the chest for now, but. Yeah, it appears that we have a small base over here of a hacker. Okay, that's actually where it should be. Shouts out to you, but nah, the rest of the stuff that he put down, that is not, like, you're literally not allowed to do that. So it does appear that, that has me a lot of hopes that maybe his stuff will be good, but at the same time, it makes me worry that his stuff might not be good. You know why? Because the problem that we have to take into account here, also, I'm going to go ahead and go, yeah, well, let's, uh, I still got to grab a C4, actually, so I'm going to do that. But I'm thinking we break into there. That seems like, I don't know, there's a doorway. I feel like it could be good, you know, just seems like it would add up. So uh, where'd I go ahead and park my chopper? There we go. But the problem with hacker bases is that if someone does spawn in items, those aren't saved in the server database. So when you raid one of these bases, even if someone spawned in like stacks on stacks on stacks of engine parts in his chests, if it's spawned in, we won't see any of them. We'll just see like an empty chest if you had like a chest full of engine parts, but he spawned them in. So let's hope that things go a little bit better. Let's toss the C4 on the door. Knock, knock, it's party o'clock. And oh me, oh my, we have come across a steel base that he just never put steel walls around. So, I mean, I'm capitalizing off this, so I don't entirely mind. Dog, please move your head. I don't want to accidentally chop your head off with my hatchet. And let's go. Already getting one C4 to go ahead and help the cause. And these guys are actually getting a little bit damaged. We got our pupper helping out. Oh, let's go ahead and shotgun raid the flow to blow to. Oh, I didn't realize that are critical. Okay, we wasted a little bit of shotgun raid on him. Shotgun raid to you, my dude. He even got taken out by the critical. Marvelous, marvelous stuff. We're getting some good stuff from that. Let's see what we are getting from this over here. Maybe... And just a little bit of food. We do have a poop ton of jerky, so I'm gonna I'm gonna turn my jerky up to uh, 100, I guess to 20. But that's 100% of how big a stack can be. Let's get through the rest of these chests, and maybe I'll end up breaking through some of his workbenches too. But the hell, we have my stuff. Welcome back, baby. It's good to be back. But I'm not seeing anything good, like in the form of you know red tickets or anything. I was hoping we might be able to stockpile up on some of those, get something a little bit good. I do think we're about to be getting a whole ton of enemies running at us. Yes, sir. So let's just go ahead and start dealing with those. Papa, I require your help. I require your assistance quickly. The shotgun rain. Can you go ahead and finish him? God dang it. Oh, we finished him just in time. Oh, and we got a whole ton of shotgun rain. We got to dish out to our toxic. Oh, I didn't want to do that. He had like three health left, man. That's a little bit of a waste. Shotgun. God dang it. He didn't die. Let's go ahead. Get that hit off on him. 
He's been weakened, dude. I love having the dog. It just, it's just something that constantly doing damage to enemies. Speaking of that, yo, dog, I'm, uh, I'm raiding a treat for you. I'm bringing you a treat back home, some food, and let's go. This thing's got a little bit more salt. Okay, so we got ten aluminum. Unfortunately, I don't know. We didn't really we got a couple aluminum net out of this, but I think we usually like, sacrifice like eight to ten. We did get some red tickets. Hat like not half a stack. I thought a stack to a hundred for some reason. A full stack of yellow tickets. We got some gasoline as well that we should be able to toss on over to our thing. I might as well grab the greens at this point. And yeah, unfortunately, other than that, that does do it for the chest. So J JD or JI, whatever this guy's name was doesn't appear to be the most loaded of dudes and ooh, never mind i actually don't have room for more gas for some reason i thought i had a full stack maybe i didn't oh did i get i might have got some from the bunker yeah that's what happened i think i got some from the bunker and put it on first so a little bit unfortunate there but i mean it's not like it's a raid where there's a bajillion amazing things and it's like oh i can't believe i'm leaving this behind it's kind of like it's it seems kind of lackluster man a little, little bit disappointed by it maybe the wooden stuff will have absolutely nothing i was hoping for some oak uh i'm not even seeing any workbenches for like iron or steel bars or anything like that so there's not really any other workbench like this is worth breaking into because maybe it has something but nah he's not even filling those up so it does appear that uh, we've broken through the entirety of this base and it looks like the the piece the resistance the best part of this base the reason that it's raidable because usually raidable bases always have at least one good item it appears that this good item was the engine part sometimes it's the electronic circuit sometimes it's a variety of them that's the times that i like the most but that does not appear to be today's time we're walking out of here with one engine part i got just as much if not more engine parts from the whatchamacallit i got more ooh, 20 of that but i got more from the freaking bunker today dude a little bit lackluster but hey stuff is stuff I can't complain, so let's just go ahead and go through just to make sure we're not missing anything. Hit take all on all the options, but I think for the most part, our inventory is pretty set, and I don't really, I don't even, it's not really that debatable, man. There's nothing where I'm like, oh, I should maybe get rid of this, like, eh. Like maybe there's a couple things, but for the most part, I'm pretty happy with what I'm walking out with. I guess I could get rid of the level one hatchets, and instead, we could bring home some more valuable things, maybe like 15 of those. Like, I, I think that's a fair trade for sure, for sure, my guy. The C4 we used on this raid, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think it's... Yeah, it's yeah. And listen, an engine part's an engine part. When the ATV update comes, which we were talking about earlier, and the new stuff that Dad's going to be adding in, the fact that the ATV currently requires 200 engine parts to build, I don't entirely mind having any extra amount of engine parts so we can build that and honestly we might have 200 already so this is just going to be extra engine parts so we actually still have engine parts available once we build up the atv because i've been stockpiling them for months dude maybe even over a year at this point all right those engine parts i have a lot of and hopefully we're gonna be able to utilize it for something marvelous like the atv but with that said with that done it does appear like that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode and today's raid can't wait to what y'all gotta say about those potential new locations in that comment section down below again rid of this past week's 25 dollar at two such place to our gift card giveaway make sure to go ahead and reply to that pinned comment and to everyone else best of luck in the new weekly giveaway beginning today and hopefully we got that new update coming soon 1.9.7 with Carlos Rudy, dude. At least that's that's my that's my most educated of hypotheses for what 1.9.7 will contain because nothing else has been teased besides multiple images having to do with this Carlos Rudy character. And my dog just loves going in between my legs, dude. Interesting. But uh, that's gonna start wrapping up for me for now. Best of luck to you guys and gals. Give the chopper gas take a joy to the chopper squadron. Best of luck, breeder your pup. Get to the true friend perk. Level up your own personal skills. Not to mention getting the best blueprints for the best weapons and building up the best attachments for them that you can. Best of luck building up your base. Going out the dopest of raids. Not to mention getting past the multiplayer while defeating all the bosses the game has to throw at you and having a fan for a fantastic time all throughout. But that's gonna do it for me. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching her episodes are awesome one and i'll talk to the next one see ya